Hi, you guys. It is time for another first impression video. This one comes to us from Vogue Patterns, who has released what has always been called their winter collection, but now we're calling it the Lux collection. I don't know what that means. Maybe it'll present itself, <laughs> the meaning, um, as we go through the videos, but or go through the patterns. But if you are new here, this is my video series where I go through and look at every single pattern in, an, in a collection and kind of just give you my first impression thoughts. Um, how it's fitting, the overall design, fabric choices, any inspiration that kind of pops in my mind. It's kind of like sitting at the fabric store and looking through the pattern books with your friend. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, I hope you'll stick around. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into the Lux collection. <laughs> Okay, first up we have a Mrs. Skirt and Culottes. Uh, Mrs. Skirt and Culottes have waist facings, invisible back zipper, top stitching, side seam pockets, and hem facings. Now, to date, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Vogue has not released any women's patterns. So this one is sized 8 to 16 and then 16 to 26, which is pretty close to their entire Mrs. size range. I think we have a four and a six on the on the short end here um, but 26 I'm pretty sure is as high as it goes in misses um, so take that for what it is all right here are I'm assuming this is the culottes look a lot like a skirt we have this interesting seam line here and also princess seams can you see those this is the center front, um, AKA the crotch curve also. In seam pockets, I'm pretty sure. And then the waistband is smooth because the, the facing is on the inside. There's not an actual waistband visible from the outside. It's all done on the inside. And then somewhere in there is a zipper. That is a really cute outfit. I don't love the, the green color of that, but I can see that in like a like if you had done this in even just caramel, I know that's basic and boring, but um, it would be really pretty. I can't tell offhand what kind of fabric this is. It does feel like it has a sheen to it. So I'm thinking cotton sateen, but maybe not. But you can see they did all the top stitching through here as well. There's that seam again. Wait, this one looks like, oh, maybe the facing is top stitched and that's why it looks like there's a seam there. And then look at this really deep hem probably from a hem facing. So even though it's a high low hem, you can see the hem facing on the inside. You can see very little bit of the wrong side of the fabric, better than what it usually looks like on a high low skirt with no hem facing. And all you see is the ugly part of the, of the skirt. Okay. There's the pants, the culottes again. Here's the back of the skirt. Yeah. Okay. So there's the zipper. And we do have that seam that kind of scoops down again. Then the hem facing, princess seams in the back as well. Same thing for the pants. Okay, I do love this about the back of the pants because it allows you to do a little bit extra fitting and shaping through here. This is concerning to me. I know that culottes have a lot of fabric, but maybe the crotch curve is a little bit too, um, what would it be? A little bit too, how do I say that? Flat? You know, the curve is not curvy enough. Um, we actually need to remove quite a bit of fabric through here, um, even though the leg is full. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay, great. That doesn't seem super luxe to me. That seems like I could really go either way. Um, I don't see a back of the envelope, did you? Oh, there it is. I, did I just skip over it? I just, oh, that's weird. <gasps> no, why would they do that? Look what happens. Okay, so I'm clicking on this photo right here. Ready? And then the front shows up. That's got to be a mistake. Nobody can read that. Nobody can. Okay, wait, hold on. I can. 
skirt and okay that's the description fabrics denim linen blends twill and wool blends yeah that pretty much covers it all your bottom weights um lining is lining fabric lightweight fusible interfacing um about two and a half yards for either version one invisible zipper and then they do give you finished garment measurements but they don't give us body measurements so it's not super i mean it's better than just giving body measurements but not super helpful in terms of like comparing ease and seeing like if it's really oversized or not um but yeah fabric choice wise that seems that seems appropriate i think that um yeah i pretty much covered all of the like woven midweight mid to heavyweight wovens but yeah you can see the line drawings here side seam pockets we talked about and then the culottes this is giving very kind of western a little bit when you look just at the line drawings but they elevated it really well with the styling the styling looks really good okay now i also want to go and click this it gives me less of a chaotic <laughs> situation when looking at the the uh, selection of patterns okay here's a men's jacket fitted jackets with pointed collar have separating front zipper welt pockets and two i'm sorry and long two piece sleeves with turned up hem the reversible side shows these a and b jacket have contrast bands top stitching and hem turned up and stitching into place on outside reverse side will show view a has contrast foe for collar Okay, Ron Collins. Have we seen a lot from Ron Collins? He might be a new Vogue designer. I mean, it's pretty cool, I think. I, I don't know personally a lot of guys that would wear this jacket, but I wish I did. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I love the Sherpa and leather. This one has faux fur, maybe fleece and leather. Yeah, they're really cool looking. Yeah, here's the welt pocket. And then something about the construction of these cuffs was pointed out. I mean, that looks very, maybe not the fur collar as much, but the rest of it's very wearable. But that outfit, that is just so cool and chic. Like, I want to go where he's going. Probably like on a yacht, but he's getting there by motorcycle, you know? <laughs> yeah, cool jacket, go guys. All right, now that shows up, okay. So fabrics are double-sided fabrics, medium to heavyweight wools, Sherpa, and then faux fur contrast for A, and then synthetic leather contrast as well. So yeah, you'd have a little bit of fun playing with that. I can see a lot of the male sewing influencers making that because it would just be so fun. Like Julian and the gang, you know who I'm talking about. There aren't that many of them. So, okay, here's Rachel Comey's um, contribution to this season. It's a jumpsuit. I love Rachel's aesthetic. It's like feminine, but not overtly like sexy, you know, it's like cool laid back but still somehow manages to capture like a feminine essence which I really like loose fitting jumpsuit with belt has front waist pleats exposed front zipper pointed collar front pockets elastic back waist top stitching and stitch hems pointed collar front let me read that again Exposed front zipper, pointed collar, front pockets, elastic back waist, top stitching, and stitched hems. Okay. And the sizing on this one is alphanumeric, and it goes from extra small to 2X. So, again, fitting is not, you know, a super big concern here, seeing as you pick a letter size, which is representative of, I think, two sizes usually. So, yeah, it's like your typical boiler suit look at this buckle thing we're supposed to be able to find that somewhere okay but you do have a facing for the zipper which is nice because it's on the front 
front patch pockets, elastic at the waist that somehow becomes these little tabs. Can you see how it's folded over like kind of a lot right here? I imagine it's even roomier. Like they did some nipping and tucking to make this look like she has a waist. I'd be interested to see the ready to wear version of this that Rachel sold at one point to see how big she had her model style it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not my favorite of the Rachel Comey releases, if I'm being honest. Let's see what this looks like. I might like it better just loose in the front with no belt. Um, oh, the belt is totally separate. Hmm. Okay, well, fabrics are gabardine, medium weight denim, and twill. Yeah, you need something pretty structured here. Um, and then lining is broadcloth and lightweight twill. Again, very structured. There's the sizing and the finished garment measurements. Let me see how the belt is done again. Because it doesn't look like she is wearing a belt. I see now. I thought that was the elastic casing. It's not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's cool for somebody. Not for me. I think that... Hmm. The, the wideness up here is a good balance to the slimness down here. I do really like that. Maybe it's the sleeve, though, that's kind of really throwing me. Because now it feels like very top heavy, which I don't want that either. I want it to be balanced. So maybe that's why I'm having a hard time. Like, I think if we were to chop it here and we'd be like, that's a cute pant. And if we were to chop it here, we'd be like, that's a cute top. But then putting them together... I don't know, something about it feels topsy-turvy to me. But again, I can see it looking really cool on someone else. Not me, though. Okay, here is Marcy Tilton's pattern. Loose-fitting kimono-style jacket has front ties, patch pockets, stitch hems, top stitch detail sleeve, and length variations. Yeah, okay, it is a kimono style top, that's for sure. But it's not a robe. It's, it's, it's not a robe. It's not scrubs. Kind of looks like scrubs a little bit too. Yeah, this is a little bit... Um, oh no, that's definitely not a robe. I mean, it could be. This doesn't feel like Marcy very much. I mean, the fabrics do, but like the rest of it feels kind of tame yeah I mean look at this there's it's like we've seen this a thousand times there's like 45 other versions of this available either within the simplicity.com brand or definitely among indies what an odd uh, yeah I'm not getting that for mercy I don't understand why she would choose that one hmm okay well Cotton, lightweight wool, linen, rayon chalet, silk. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I think that fans of Marcy Tilton's designs are going to be, like, disappointed. Like, that's so boring. Hmm. Strange. Maybe she got busy with something else or something. I don't know. Such a conspiracy theorist. Okay. Now we have some men's pants. Oh, these are the same pants that they had on with the jackets. Okay, cool. They look really good. Slim fit, tapered leg pants, sit on the hip, have fly front zipper, belt carriers, side front pockets, and welt pockets on back. View A has pleated front, view B has flat front, and cargo pockets with button flaps. Wow, guys. Yeah, they're really getting, like, two very different looking pants. The pants with the pleats, right? Tapered fit still, or flat front. And then you can leave the, you can put the cargos on or leave them off. Fit looks great, although posing with hands in pockets, I guess even the guys do it. Back, yes, let's see the back. 
So back, so guys have the same fit issues that women have with fitting pants. It's not like it becomes easier because you're a man like most things in life. <laughs> okay. Um, but like right through here, obviously there's way too much fabric in here for him. Um, he just is like a thinner, a thin guy, you know, so we need to scoop out the crotch or whatever equivalent of that is to give him a little bit less fabric through here. And that'll be, and then probably even shorten the inseam at the crotch too. That would help a lot. But everything else looks good. Back welt pockets slash pockets in the front. Let's see what his look like. A little bit better, but you can still tell there's a lot of fabric through here. But the same design otherwise. Yeah, this really is like a, a two in one for them. That's nice. Okay. Uh, gabardine twill and wool blends again. Yeah, your your bottom weight fabrics, mid weight, some structure, and then lining with broadcloth. I'm just looking at the line drawings really quick. Pretty straightforward stuff. They do have a tab on the front that I didn't notice. Oh, because they have belts on. Okay, so hold on, let me let me get out of here and go here. Their front has like a little tab for the button. So that's a nice detail, but they covered it up um, with the belt in the modeled photos. All right, now we have Mrs. Pants. Low rise, wide leg. Those are two things that just generally do not look good on a lot of people. <sighs> okay, have shaped waistband with bar tacks, hook and bar closure, fly zipper closing, invisible hems. View A has pleated front side seam pockets and is loose fitting through the hips. View B has a flat front and fitted through the hips. So again, with the two flat front versus pleated options, sizing is six to 24, so compared to the last, the first video, or first pattern we saw, they added a size six and removed the size 26. So we're still getting 10 sizes, it's just they're shifting the scale a little bit. So yeah, here's the thing about low rise, wide leg. Um, silhouette wise, if you have a waist, it's not gonna be defined. Even if you have a close fitting shirt that's tucked in, there's still going to be some wearing ease in that shirt. It's not going to be as close fitting as a waistband would be. And then you have wide legs. So what it does is it chops off your body. I mean, look at, you can tell here with this red pant that her torso looks 5 million miles long. It almost looks the same length as her legs. And that's just not for, if you don't have long legs already, right? And you're already having to make length adjustments you're going to make them on this pattern and then it's going to be, you could run into the problem of your pants looking like they are shorter than your torso. And that's just bizarre looking. These are a little bit better because they don't have the pleats. They're not as wide leg. They also don't feel as low rise either. I mean, these are sitting here, they're like good two inches below her natural waist. Now, could you buy this pattern, increase the waist, take in the waist? Yes, but they have plenty of high-waisted pleated pants, like already. You don't need to go through all that trouble. Yeah, you can see here the difference. This is her waist, one, two, maybe even more inches lower. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's not necessarily like super trendy, nor is it very flattering on 80% of the population. So I'm confused as to why, I'm confused as to what they think they're gonna, like who's gonna make this? Even like if you're super tall and skinny, it still to me looks kind of funny. I mean, I can't even, I can't picture a single person, like I'm thinking young people, older people, skinny people, not skinny people. I don't, I just don't see it really. I mean, it doesn't look good on those models. My goodness. Either way, 
fabrics are cotton twill, crepe, linen blends, wool blends. We're going to see that a lot. Yeah, does it say how far? No, it doesn't. It just says low rise. Yeah, not my fave. Wow, we really hit a rut here. I was excited for Vogue. Especially when I saw Lux collection. Are we getting a Lux vibe yet? No, it kind of just looks like Vogue winter. <laughs> this one isn't going to be much better either. Fit and flare dresses are lined and underlined. Oh boy. Close fitting through bust and waist have bias stand collar. Princess seams, side seam pockets, invisible back zipper, hook and eye closure, invisible hem. View A has long two-piece bishop sleeves. Split, so lining shows. Ending in button cuffs. Oh my goodness. Purchase trim collar. View B has long sleeves with cuffs. All right, so I'm guessing this is their, their take on holiday this year. I don't know. This is really disappointing. So basically you have three layers of fabric in here. You have an outer dress that's underlined. I'm assuming that's so you can use sheer fabrics. And then the whole thing is also lined. That's what you see here. This little baby blue shiny stuff. Um, this doesn't feel like high end or modern like at all. It kind of looks like a costume. She's like, what is this? <laughs> the model's faces are always very telling. You can tell when they feel good in something. I mean, that's a, I can see that maybe on a very, very specific type of person, like a, like a Jill Biden, <laughs> like a Michelle Obama, like a very, prominent high-end figure but that figure it's not like taylor swift like they need to be really conservative and like they need they have a professional presence or something i can see them wearing that wearing this to their holiday party the other one though yeah not i'm not getting this i don't understand that one it does fit really well so that's good even this one with this brocade, and brocade has literally no stretch to it at all. Um, so tailoring it is like, you, it's got to be good. All right, so brocade, linen, shantung, tweed, wool crepe. Underlining is cotton batiste, muslin, or organza. And then you're lining it in charmeuse or taffeta. Wow. And it, when we're looking at the line drawings here, it's not even like the design is all that revolutionary either. It's just a princess seamed dress. And they threw on these sleeves and made this very dated stand collar. Do you know what I mean? Like there's just so many better versions of this type of fit and flare dress. So that's another no for me dog <laughs> hmm. okay this one looks sort of promising mrs coats okay lined coat has peak lapels extended shoulders shoulder pads two-piece sleeves waist darts front inseam pockets concealed what are back inseam pockets concealed snap closure and back vent okay view a has bow detail okay so, oh yeah, it's cute. It's fun and different, kind of like a Kate Spade vibe maybe. Um, I don't have a lot of use for coats here where I live. Like I've made them and I've loved what I made, but then I never wear it because it never gets cold enough. Um, it didn't say anything about a drop shoulder, did it? Let me go back real quick. Extended shoulders, it does say extended shoulders. Okay, so that's really interesting because you can see how this does not fit her. Like the shoulder line is really long. I don't necessarily understand the point of that. Well, this one looks better. I don't know why it doesn't look as extended on her. 
So this might be this might be a combination of the extended shoulders and it's too big for her. Maybe a little bit of both. You can see even here the neckline on her is like very close fitting to her body, whereas on her it's pulling away a little bit. So maybe there's two things happening here. But if it fits like this, 3,000 thumbs up, this feels, yeah, too big. Um, even the, the deepness of the V is different. So yeah, I think this one's just too big on her, maybe by a size or more. But if it looks like this and you have the little bow, you have the sleeve, everything about it other than that looks like it fits really well. Wow, this is a floor length. Yeah, that's a lot. She doesn't look very, sorry, I keep going to zoom in and out. She looks pissed. <laughs> First, you put me in that ugly <laughs> dress I just had on. Now <laughs> you have me in this ridiculous coat. Um, I think I'm giving this one a bit of a pass because the last few have been so disappointing. I think the line drawings are gonna be really redeeming for this one, but I think how they have it, well, just kind of how this one's just too big is, is really sad. And look, why is the side seam coming to the front? I don't think that's supposed to happen either. Oops. So I think it's just the photos that are disappointing here. But I do think that the, yeah, way too big on her. But I do think that the, um, the line drawings will be redeeming. This is beautiful, right? All of these fisheye darts in the back. It looks like you have right your side seam, then a princess seam, and then two fisheye darts and a center back seam, and then that repeats. So there is a lot to be said for the tailoring of this. There's a vent in the back. I just wish that this fabric weren't so wild and the last one fit better. And then, yeah, you can see the line drawings. I'll look at the bigger versions on the home page, on the front page of the pattern here in a second. But yeah, the line drawings are really cute. And it does look like the side seam, I guess that's that princess seam, like that side seam panel, I guess, if you want to call it that. But they're suggesting brocade denim, medium to heavyweight wools. Wait, denim? Denim would have been super cool. Why did they, why didn't they choose denim? Even the, like the long version in denim would have been way cooler than what they chose. Yeah, fabric choice is always, it's never been Vogue's strong suit. I think they're trying to appeal to a specific kind of woman with their fabric choice and it always just ends up like missing the mark for most of us and we have to use our imagination and then some people just don't have the ability to do that or don't have the patience to do that. I get it, but it is in the larger of the size, the, the 10 sizes we have, eight to 26. And look, let's see the these bigger. Right? It is kind of cool. There's a lot of promise for this one. Don't write this one off just yet based on the photos. All right, now we have we're into tops already, which means we're almost at the end. Uh, this has been a little bit brutal. Semi-fitted twist neck. Top has long bishop sleeves, sleeve opening with continuous lap, button cuffs, bust darts, and baby hems. View A has a pleated front, view B has a plain front. Oh boy, wow. I just, there's this, with the skirt though, but the sweater looked a thousand times better. This is just, I don't, wh what? This is like, this is like um soap operas. Like that's what I'm picturing. Like, like Days of Our Lives matriarch would be wearing this. And this, I don't even, I don't understand that at all. Like, oh, let's make it casual with my low rise wide leg pants. I don't get it. This, this like capey looking thing, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to make this better. <laughs> it just is what it is. 
I, don't, I just don't see anybody wearing that like I, in like around and I live in an area of Charlotte where I come in contact with some people who have money they're not wearing that I don't know who's wearing that. I'm trying to picture other areas of the country maybe New Yorkers they're not wearing that Miami they're not wearing that Los Angeles they're not wearing that Dallas or somewhere down there they're not wearing that I don't know. I don't know. Charmeuse, Crepe de Sheen, de Sheen Rayon, Chalet Silk Jacquard. Yeah, so your lightweight drapey fabrics. Yeah, it just does. It's not. Yeah, I don't even. I just don't think it's pretty. I think it looks sloppy, maybe. And I'm not even like speaking to my own personal style. I'm just speaking about just style in general. It just feels. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Another Vogue season goes by, and yet we have another knockoff of a Chanel tweed. This is a jacket and pants. We have fitted crop jackets, have extended shoulders, again with the extended shoulder, shoulder pads, two piece sleeves. View A has below elbow length sleeves and patch pockets. View B has long sleeves with working vents. Okay, that's cool. Patch pockets with flaps. Fitted pants have fly front zipper with hook and bar closure. Waist facing, waist starts in invisible hem. Views A and C have purchased trim. Okay. Okay, you know what? Like, it's a little been there, done that. But it's not bad. So, yes, Chanel, all day long. The fit, the fit of the coat is pretty good with the extended shoulder. It's a it's a close fitting sleeve, close fitting kind of all around. Pants at the high hip. That's a good length for most people. The pants on her, the crotch length is a little bit long. Sometimes that happens because they're supposed to sit at the natural waist, and then as she's like moving around modeling, they kind of shimmy down a little bit, and then the crotch ends up being too long. That's just because the technically the waist is too big. Um, so one of those two things, either shorten the crotch or or narrow the waist so they sit where they're supposed to. Um, but it does look like they're sit they're hitting each girl at the same place. And hers don't I don't know, hers are black, so it's hard to tell. This close fitting crop situation with the platform. Yeah, I mean, I get it. 2000s fashion has come back around again. It's not the worst. It's not the best. This, the way that it's buttoned here, looks really nice with this pan. This looks like someone who's got their stuff together and they're ready to take some names. Very elegant, very chic, very posh, very rich. And I think that's usually what I expect from Vogue. Something clean, polished, baller looking. Got it? So, where's the back? Oh, the back looks really good. The fit of the pant looks awesome in the back. Now, again, this could be a situation where they have hiked the pants back up and she's not moving around for back photos. She's just standing there and they're telling her to turn her head this way and that way. And, you know, that's it. See how they kind of all look the same. But yeah, okay. This one's, this one's at the top of the list for this collection, that's for sure. Yeah, it is kind of a, a throwback, right, to the 80s and then these pants, these crop pants take on a little bit of the 2000s. It's like a mix and match. I do like this crop coat a lot. I really, really do. What are some other fabric choices? Brocade, linen blends, men's suiting, tweed, wool crepe. I can see myself making a cropped jacket like this for sure. It's fully lined. Yeah, I think if I could find some fabric that kind of you know when you see a fabric and it says I'm supposed to be this project or that project if I saw one I don't think I would make it in tweed I don't think I would do the Chanel route I think I would do something different but I don't know what 
they would have to, I'd have to hit me over the head. But I do think the silhouette is really cute and flattering and you could wear it with lots of other bottoms that, you know, like if it's super, if it's not cold enough to wear a jacket technically, then you can wear it with like skirts or something, you know, over a dress even would be adorable. Hey, I really like this one. I like, well, I should say I like the jacket. The pants are a little bit whatever. Like we've had, there's nothing revolutionary about the pants, but I do really like the coat. I like also that this is a working vent. That's a very like high end detail. Um, like in ready to wear, you pay extra for that to have like a working button situation. Okay, now we have the 2000s Chanel dress situation. It's a jacket, skirt, and pants. Semi-fitted jackets have bias binding with exposed raw edges. How can those two things be true? Bias binding with exposed raw edges. Huh. Front button closure, side seam pockets, and long three piece, three piece sleeves. You do not see that very often with a mock vent. See how the vent doesn't work. Um, view A has purchased trim. Both skirt and pants have contour waistband, fly front zipper and side pockets. Skirt has purchased trim on him. Pants have invisible hem. Okay, so bias binding with exposed raw hems. I, yeah, I still don't get that. Unless when you turn the binding to the right side, this is what's raw. I'm guessing that's what they mean. I have no idea. If you know what that means, if you've done that before or something, leave it in the comments. But yeah, the this long line coat that goes to the hip, you know, very 80s, obviously, with the pencil skirt is a no for me just proportion wise. Plus I really have nowhere to wear a suit anyways, but even if I did, it wouldn't be this one. Um, even in the baby pink, you know, trying to make it a little bit more youthful, still better, but not, not it. It does, I mean, fit wise, it does look really good on both of them. Okay, good. We get a pair, we get a picture of the pants without a top so we can get an idea of what the waistband looks like and the fit and everything else. It is a little skosh, just a maybe a half an inch too tight through here. Can you see that line? You probably normally never see that if it weren't in this specific kind of fabric, but, but we can see it. I don't think that's her top. Some of you are going to be like, that's her top. That's where the top ends. It might be, but still it feels a little bit too not the top, <laughs> but it's just right through this area, right? The crotch line looks okay from the front for a fit model, you know, waistbands curved. That's, that looks right. Here's the skirt, hands in pockets. Yeah, not much to that. You can't see, even though I'm zoomed in, you still can't see that. Well, this is also supposed to be purchase trim. So now I'm really confused. I don't really see any raw edges. I don't know. I don't know if I'm looking at the wrong thing or what, but. But yeah, the fit is really good on both of them, right? Oh, wait, maybe this is it. That's got to be it, right? Like you, you do the bias binding almost all the way, but not fully. Or is that just the fuzziness of the tweed? I don't know. Because it looks like not raw over here, but raw over here. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, the back of the pant fits pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, they're, they're going to sell some of these pants. The, the pants look good. The jacket, if people can get past the jacket and see how good the pants are, which they won't because the jacket takes up most of the photo. That's too bad. The pants are nice. The pants are nice. Again, you know, not nothing special about them or anything, but they are nice. 
We have, oh, a vintage Vogue from the 80s, I'm presuming. 87, Mrs. Blouse sewing pattern. So, loose fitting blouse has extended shoulders, shoulder pads, pleated band, back button closing, and above elbow sleeves with mock bands or long sleeves, narrow hem. View A and B have attached pleated scarf with narrow hem. View C has bias collar. Okay, now that I just posted the vintage to modern kind of inspiration, I want to say, I just posted that video yesterday is what I'm saying, and so now I'm sure all of you are looking at these vintage patterns like, oh yeah, Lindsay, how are you going to make that one look modern? I want to say that not all vintage reproductions can be made modern, nor should they be. Some designs just need to be left in the past, and this might very well be <laughs> one of them. I kind of see the vision that they were going for, right? You got to imagine these are, these fabrics are like silky types, right? And then these two just happen to have this little scarfing that, thing that hangs off. Um, silky type tops tucked in or otherwise are just not having a moment right now. Um, right now it's the close fitting like uh, bodysuit crop top, that kind of thing. Um, these are just not in style right now. So you can't force a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't happen. What other fabrics? Crepe de Chine, Damask, Silk Like Jacquard, Silk Like Linen, and Tissue Fail. Am I saying that right? I feel like somebody tried to correct me on fail. Fall? Fail? Fa fa I don't remember. Um, yeah, just not, hmm, yeah, it's, it's just not happening right now. <laughs> the button-up back is something that the illustrations don't show. I don't love a button-up back. We've talked about that before. Like, I get that you don't have to unbutton all of them to get undressed, but even unbuttoning down to here, which probably you would. I mean, maybe not. It is so loose-fitting. Maybe you would only need to unbutton this one to get in. I don't know. Either way, it's difficult to do, right? Like, we're not all super flexible. Okay, so now we have a Mrs. Dress with a cape. Fitted, lined cape dress has jewel neckline, front waist and bust darts, back princess seams, back slit, and invisible back zipper. Attached, attached unlined cape, wrong side will show, also has an invisible back zipper and baby hem. View A has three quarter length sleeves, view B is sleeveless. Okay, this would be an incredible wedding dress, right? Okay, this is lavender, but imagine it in white. It would be a beautiful, beautiful wedding gown um, or prom. The short one, like she's trying to be like, what what it's two different things are we going to work are we going to an office or are we going to a party an office party okay an office party sure uh it might also have been interesting to see if they did the cape in a contrast because you can see the dress does go up and under the cape so you could have done this in a sheer weight something or another maybe like yeah like the ballet or somewhere really fancy. It's not the worst thing I've seen. It's also just not the most practical thing I've seen. <laughs> I mean, capes are really hard. You have to carry a clutch or no bag at all because you can't put anything over your shoulder. You can't raise your arms. It's not the best to sit down in because it just, you know, pulls and then your arms are even more restrained. Um, th there's just a lot of, of negatives to wearing a caped anything. But this one is pretty. You can see the the darts here. Pretty little darts to get some shaping. I do love the raglan style. Pa uh, four ply poly crepe, jacquard, satin back crepe, wool blends. Yeah, those are all great options. All right, next is Tom. It oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so Tom and Linda Platt, I have made some of their patterns before. I, I do like them as designers, but they made these little wraps 
Mrs. Wraps in three styles have neckline, collar, and closure variations. View A has front hook and eye closure. View B has contrast neck ruffle and ties in front. View C has slit opening to pull through front. Gotcha. Very dynasty. Can you see? It's like a really big blanket scarf, basically, is what it is. Um, this, like, high, low, ruffled neck thing is serving Cruella in the best way possible. Um, and then this one is like a mix of these two. You just, it's like, it's like this, but longer here. And then you just tie the front. I mean, it does add a lot of pizzazz to an otherwise basic kind of look going on underneath, right? Add something to a little black dress. You could spend a lot of money on this fabric. You don't need a bunch of it. And it adds a little bit of something, something to your outfit. <gasps> Wait a minute. They made a matchy matchy. Is that cute or is that little red riding hood? That's cute, I think. I like that. Mm, see, here it is open. I kind of like it open. Oops. Why does that keep happening to me? Here it is. I like it open too. It reads more like a cardigan. I guess it is pretty impossible to keep all these ruffles standing up without any help. And this, this lady just looks like she's ready to kill somebody, honestly. She's like, I came here to murder my husband. Or, or I came here to murder my cheating boyfriend who was married. Like, she's the mistress. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a hair up situation. I think they're fun. Cloak fabric. I've never heard of that. Cloak fabric, four ply crepe, Mikado, satin faced organza. Yeah, of course, you can also do all those other, you know, stiff metallic type of fabrics, brocade and all of that. I like that they did an accessory. Okay, here's, yeah, here's another one. <laughs> Mrs. Tops, okay, close fitting, off the shoulder top, has boning, contrast front inset, two piece sleeves, and exposed separating zipper at back. View A has contrast lapels and three quarter sleeves. View B has long sleeves with cuffs. Immediately when I saw this one, I thought that is what a pageant contestant wears to their interview, right? Isn't it just like sexy boss? And that's kind of the vibe that all the, you know, pageant girlies have to give off in that kind of environment. Um, I, again, I don't know where we're wearing this. I'm certainly not going to target in this. Um, you're not going to work in this. It's just a party top, right? To add to your, like, I don't even know what skirts these are, but. I mean, I guess, okay, I gotta, I gotta remember, Vogue picks bad fabrics. So if you were to think about this in a different fabric, would it be any cooler? Like, I always like to, whenever I'm considering fabric options and considering, like, um, dressy versus not dressy. So this, if I feel like this is too dressy and I don't have anywhere to wear that, then my mind will immediately just put the pattern in denim because it's the most least dressy of anything. So if you made this in denim, would it be cooler? Would it be weird? It would definitely be less dressy, which would be the goal. It, it, it might be kind of cool, guys. It might be kind of cool in denim. Now, again, you're not wearing it to Target. You're not wearing it everywhere. But to like a concert or date night, you could wear it more places than you know, red silk, black silk, that kind of thing. I think I like the shorter version version more. You definitely need some help. Oh, this is, is this navy now? I don't know what color that is. I definitely like this shorter version more. You need some help getting into it. Um, I bet it's just like filled to the nines with all kinds of construction stuff, boning and whatnot. Mm 
let's see. Okay, so picture this in denim, no contrast. Can you see it? Does it make you like the pattern more? Picture it in like a non-shiny version of your favorite color. Like a normal looking top would be. But not necessarily dressy. Because this one's calling for brocade, heavy satin, PK, Shantung, and wool blends. Wool blends? Wow. Um, and then it's also lined. It would be a bit of a beast to make just like a random corseted denim off the shoulder long sleeve peak lapeled thing just to have sitting around. But I do think it would make quite, quite the statement. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm kind of feeling inspired by the denim, imagining the denim. <laughs> I, have I just looked at too many bad patterns? Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I kind of just am. Or imagine it like black is always safe, right? Well, black can be really dressy, but I was going to say imagine it in like a black like something very casual. Just I guess cotton. What were the Let's go back and see what the notions were. notions boning a separating zipper that's it so just a ton of boning to hold it up and then your zipper i don't know why i thought we would have something in the shoulder area here but i guess you could get some stay tape and stuff like that i don't know y'all i'm kind of feeling it i'm kind of feeling it i'm thinking maybe even something with like a a print to it that you wear with like flare jeans, you can dress this down, okay? That's my, I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys can think that I'm losing my mind if you want, but I don't know. I kind of think that that thing has some hope. <laughs> okay, here's the skirt that the other lady was wearing with her black. Did I call that a shirt, a jacket, whatever it was, the last pattern. Look at these skirts, my goodness. It's long, slim, bias skirts, have invisible back zipper, hook and eye closure at waistband and baby hems. View A is evening length, view B is floor length at center front and has a train in the back. Dang, the way she's standing, that pose, it is giving. Okay, it is a little bit low in the rise, right? Her hand is probably where her hip is, I mean, her waist. So it's sitting just above the high hip, a bit of a low rise situation, but that can be adjusted. Yeah, it is really pretty. Bias cut too. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I've said this a thousand times. If you've never tried a bias cut garment before and you think, oh, I can't wear stuff that's close fitting, try it, bias cut. It's magic. I don't know how it works. There's something about the science of it but it just hugs your body in the places it should and does not hug your body in the places it shouldn't. I can't explain it. Like I said, magical, but something happens. It, it just transforms you. Um, and they both have this little like inset thing here happening. That is just not a look. Like I don't see any, what? No, that nobody's doing that. The orange one, they did better, right? They tucked it in. They gave her a high neck, something with a little bit of shoulder showing. Like this is a more modern version than this. This is just sad. Like I would feel badly if a very rich woman spent a lot of money on this outfit and looked this not good in it. But her, she looks young, fresh. It's maybe not as expensive, but still, look, she's got money. She's like a, she's like a, she's like a housewife, you know, one of the Bravo housewives. This lady is lonely. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, I would say the bag of the shirt helps a little bit, but still. All right. So we're looking at the skirt though. Can you see how even though she's got her leg popped, it's still just doing magical things. Bias cut things are incredible, just incredible. 
And considering she has no figure in her back at all, um, it's still giving her some illusion of curves, right? At least on the sides. Yeah, so there it is. Crepe back satin, four ply crepe, jacquard. Yeah, all of those. These are like a more heavy weight, but drapey fabrics. That's what they're calling for. I imagine you could do something a little bit more casual in like a chalet or something, but you do need a bunch of it. Almost four yards for skirt B of 60 inch. You can't even do it in uh, 45 inch. Yeah. This kid is staring me down. I don't know if you can hear her crying in the background. Okay, knit dress by Badgley Mishka. Okay, love having a Badgley Mishka option, but like, it's gotta be this one. Close fitting, partially lined dress, has ruched detailing, concealed side front slit, long sleeves, covered shoulder pads, invisible back zipper, back darts, and stitch hems. This has been released recently. Velvet. I mean, of all the velvet things, though, they've ever put on this website, this is one of the best looking ones. Because I think what happens is this is the authentic design. This has not been remade. This is like off the rack, if you want to call it that. And then they have taken this apart and made a made a pattern out of it. I, I'm pretty sure this has not been made in their shop. It's it came from the designer. Fish eye darts there for sure. Center back. See, it's a little bit big on her, right? Or no, is that that ruching stuff on the front? It might be. I thought that was the side seam. The hip would be too big. Yeah, that must be this area here. Yeah, again, like we've seen this before. And I get that stuff comes back around again, but like, it's like we've seen it before, but like, we're not seeing it like out, like in the streets or in the stores or anything like that. Like, I don't think they're ahead of the curve on this. I think they're just very far behind. Um, so it's knit, two-way stretch knits, matte jersey, rayon spandex, stretch velvet, and then lined with swimwear lining. That's a good tip. Yeah, I mean, I guess of the holiday options we've seen so far, this one is the best, but it's still not great. It will be flattering. That ruching does wonders um, in terms of hiding, like, your belly if you're insecure about that. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Vintage Vogue 1957. Slim fitted dress has gathered fullness above the optional belt. Detail at the midsection, high round or lower square neckline, below elbow length and short sleeves, authentic. Okay. Okay. So fitted, 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 right? You have the seam here, gathers, that's where your bust sits. There are darts here, square neckline, short sleeve. This is meant to be made in Dupioni or something like that. This one, they put the little belty thing on. So for these, it's best to go to the line drawings, which I don't like these older line drawings where they just drew, they just drew the cartoon. They drew the illustration. They just took the color away, basically. Um, it's still a little bit harder to see than if it was just like a front on line drawing. Okay, so this one here, you can kind of see a little bit better about how it could look different in a different type of fabric, right? It doesn't have to be dressy. It doesn't have to be fancy. And it also doesn't look like if you took her head off with that hair cut, <laughs> you know, um, it doesn't look as vintage. The square neckline really, really dates it, but... Other than that, it could just be a really nice fitted pencil skirt dress for work or anywhere. A wedding guest dress, something like that. 
Um, now we have this lady. 1965 evening dress sewing pattern straight evening dress in two versions has draped side closing with attached or self ribbon bow wait wait <laughs> draped side closing with attached self or ribbon bow is that how i said it the first time long slim sleeves or sleeveless huh it couldn't be easier to sew, right? It's gotta be pretty simple. You can change up the sleeves if you want. Like it might not be a terrible idea to have a little sleeve that ended right here. I think it's... That's the back, let's see. Oh, the fabrics are crepe, lightweight wools, silky type synthetic blends, velvet wool jersey. So they've got everything for, they've got mostly lightweights. Mostly light to midweight. Doesn't have to have a ton of drape, but maybe a little bit. Where's the front? There's no front. I want this kind of line art in the front. It actually looks like someone just traced this with a pen. <laughs> um, but you do have the back fisheye darts. You have little darts here. I do like that. It's hard to say how this would look on a modern woman. Would it look like, uh, you know, when you get out of the shower and you like wrap yourself in a towel? Would it look a little bit like that or would it look way cuter? I don't know. What's the fabric requirements on it? Three. Three's not bad. I think it, what it is is just a close fitting sheath dress and then the front has the little extra panel that goes across the front, I think. Like this is all extra, I think, I don't know. It's, it's okay, it has potential, but my, even my imagination isn't allowing me to, to go there with it. All right, last one, this vintage coat. Wow, this one's amazing. Um, 1955 coat or evening coat, cause you know, they were different back then. Slightly flared coat in two lengths. Evening version with short sleeves has deep cape collar and has wrapped front regulation length regulation re regulated by who you couldn't show your legs is that what that means regulation length has a no the shorter one is regulation length never heard that term before has a more shallow collar long tapering sleeves may be pushed up double breasted closing wow the pushed up sleeves are really everything so yeah, just a really like oversized shawl collar, double breasted, A-line coat. This is, you know, cloak vibes. What do we think this is? Five yards of fabric? Especially non-regulation length. Yeah, five and a half. Yep, I figured. Brocade, camel's hair, fail, fleece. Fleece is cheap. <laughs> Can you imagine this out of that? Some of that Joanne's fleece that has like snowflakes on it or whatever. <laughs> that would be so funny. Lame satin, tweed, velvet, wool types, worsted wools. Worsted wool will be very warm coat. Very warm. All right. Well, I hate to say it guys, but this is mostly a flop for me. Um, yeah, you really, really have to use your imagination with this collection. And, you know, unfortunately, that isn't, that doesn't always translate well. Some people just cannot do that. Um, but with some imagination, I can see some of these having a little bit of hope. The men's patterns, the men really won in this collection. The men won. Um, but for me, it's maybe the skirt and culottes, um, maybe this little jacket. And what was the third one? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. If if I'm feeling like inspired to make something that like couture, maybe. If I had a fancier lifestyle where I was invited to parties and stuff, it would be the skirt. That's what I would be making to go to my holiday party. Um, more so than any of these other ones. But I wanna know what you guys think. 
let me know, am I just being really critical today? Am I have like a, my mean hat on or am I, am I right? These are not it anymore or ever. Um, well, not, not ever. Some of them probably had their moment. Um, but the moment to come back is not now, right? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is going to do it for me today. I will, I'm going to go take a happy pill or something and I will see you guys soon. Bye.